Lots of excitement, of course, leading to the implosion. Hundreds gathered outside of the stadium this morning, hoping to catch a glimpse of history. And 7 Action News reporter Amira David spoke with onlookers who say they were pretty underwhelmed by what they got instead. I like big booms. That's what most viewers told us they were expecting to see today with a Metro Detroit landmark set to come down. But that's not quite what they got. It, all you hear is boom, 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 boom. And that was a, a bunch of smoke, but nothing else. Viewers heard the sounds, but nothing collapsed. The 400,000 square foot stadium, in fact, looked rather untouched, leaving many longing and hoping for more. We thought there was going to be a second one. So we sat here waiting for a second explosion. And several people did decide to wait it out, many of them standing right here across from the Silver Dome for several hours, despite the fact that news came down, a second explosion wouldn't happen. 14-year-old Carl Tisler stayed out here for an extra four hours. Really disappointed. This is, I'm going to be really sad because I had never seen it like this before. Given he's usually in school, he's worried. He's now missed his chance. Demolition authorities say they're working on a plan B, but have yet to release a new implosion date. I'm surprised it didn't go down. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of memories here watching football games, concerts, basketball games. Pontiac native Jay Koshell says the stadium represents a big piece of his childhood. He came out to say his goodbyes, but the Silverdome had other plans. It's a strong stadium. I don't want to go. At least not today. For now, the building so many expected to say so long to still stands. In Pontiac, Amira David, 7 Action News.